What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tits here and I'm gonna be super quick with this. I'm sorry, but this tutorial ended up being 20 minutes last time I did it and I have to do it in 1920 by 1080 for the um, words to pick up well enough for you guys to see. I mean you can see it in 1280 but it's just way more clear in 1820. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages about what do I record with, what's the best way to record this and that and blah blah blah. So just uh, just watch. Here we go. Fraps. Let's start off. General. If you want to record how I'm recording now, like what you're doing on your desktop or on the web, like everything but like in a game, make sure you have this checked. Monitor er arrow desktop. Uh, desktop. Moving on to the movies. Uh, I'm just going to show you what matters. Stereo. Have it checked. Record Windows 7 sound. Record external input. That's where you pick your mic. Um, hide mouse cursor in video. That's just if you want to hide the mouse cursor. I don't right now. Lock frame weight while recording. Check it. Force losses RGB capture. Check it. Loop buffer length 30 seconds. 60 FPS for video capture settings. Full size, half size. I forgot what the resolution is that Fraps puts out. I think it's, it's about 600 or 800 by 600 or some bullshit or 640 by 480 or whatever it is. But anyways, I do full size. Um, Half size looks, I mean, good afterwards. I mean, you're going to render it anyways, and it's going to be really close looking to full size. <clears throat> but unless you're recording to a separate hard drive that you're not running the video game from, um, also, like, when you're doing a live com, um, like you're recording while playing the game, it can be hard to do full size because of lag and whatnot, so you might have to do half size. <clears throat> So anyways, you know, you can just play around with that just to see full size and half size. You know, just to see what works for you. It all depends on how good of a computer you got and whatnot. Um, Alright, moving on to Vegas. Alright, I got a clip preloaded here. So my preload, my project video properties, right here. Click it. This is what you need. Um, with, I do 1280 by 720 because... 1920 by 1080 and 1280 by 720 they're both HD they pretty much look the same the only thing difference is when you are making a video that is just like a tutorial or something like I'm doing to see the text you really need it to be 1920 alright um let's see and a 1920 by 1080 video is going to be huge file so all you need at lower field first 1.0 square just look through all this 32 bit floating point four range for pixel format you really got to have that that's to make sure you use all the possible colors within your video that's that's kind of like the layman's way of saying that compositing gamma 2.22 4 resolution best gosh and none all right i'm going to leave it up just for a little bit longer cuz you could just be pausing this right now and looking at this so i'm going to go ahead and move on audio Alright, you can pause it here too and look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Ruler, summary, audio. You don't need to do anything with those. Alright, okay. Also, you can type whatever you want in here. And then click save template. And then that will be your template every, you know. Oh, and click on this one. Start all new project settings with this setting. So it always starts with whatever you set here. Set. Now before you go render uh, here's some quick really quick tips go over here track effects do brightness and contrast color curves sony sharpen I do this for all my videos brightness and contrast three things here brightness contrast contrast center it's gonna be zeros all the way across the board for the first two 0 0.50 for the third one Well, wait a minute. Let me uh, do my settings first. Okay. It's going to be zero, zeros across the board for the first one. Contrast is going to be 0 0.03. Third one's contrast center. It's going to be 0 0.50. Alright. And then color curves. Here, check it out. See how vivid this looks? You might not even be able to tell. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell from... But... um if you check it out watch see that now look so much more richer 
Uh, so, so, much, so much richer. But anyways, color curves, it's going to start off looking like this. Just diagonal line. And it, the video looks really good. But when I go ahead and do this preset that I saved, it looks so much better. Basically, that preset is just this. It's just going up and going down. And then you can move it right, more dark, left, bright, left, more bright, back in, more dark, up, down. Play with that until you get just perfect settings that you want. Save the template, you're good to go. Alright, off to rendering it. Here we go. Alright, so the best render is MP4. Um, you can use main concept MP4 or Sony... AVC MP4. Sony AVC is more um, it's more stable. Um, I use main concept for most of my videos under 10 minutes, under 15 minutes. I use Sony AVC for, for long videos, especially because um, a lot of times Sony Vegas likes to error out before it finishes the video and it's an unknown error. Nobody ever knows why. Well, the only way to really fix that is switch file type. Either do WMV or Sony ABC. WMV is not as good a quality, so I would do Sony ABC. Just do WMV for like vlogs and shit. Um, you know, and it's, and maybe a longer videos if the game doesn't have as good a graphics or whatnot. I don't know. So Sony ABC, that's what you want. Check it out. Go ahead and pause the video. Remember and, and get these settings here. These are the exact settings you want. Uh, you can do either 15 million or 20 million bitrate. It's whatever. Um, you only want to do 30 FPS. Uh, always. Because YouTube will only put out in 30 FPS. Alright. Audio. 48, 192 bitrate. You can save that to look at it. System MP4. Project. Video rendering quality. Best. Stereoscopic 3D mode. Use project settings. Alright, moving on. Um, it says, use this setting to create a higher quality 16 by 9 file suitable for uploading to internet sites. So, I mean, this is like your most stable file format to use. Now, I still like to use main concept MP4. I feel like, I mean, they're, to be honest, they look exactly the same, but if you wanted to go a higher bitrate, you would use main concept MP4. Because you can go all the way up to a 50 million bit rate. Oh no, a 240 million. I'm gonna tell you right now, anything past 50 million is gonna burn. It's gonna blow your computer up if you don't have a really fast computer. I have a quad core i7 overclocked to 4 gigs. My computer is 2.5k uh, dollars, really expensive. And from 14 million bit rate all the way up to 50, I mean, it runs at 100% processing. I mean, it just uses everything to render because Vegas is just very high end. I read though in a lot of places that. YouTube is only going to put out a certain amount bitrate after it does its compressing and everything. All right, and and I read it's not going to be any more than like 10 or 12 million or something. So that's why I wouldn't go above 14, 20 million. All right, because yes, 50 million and up, man, it just makes the most vivid video you've ever seen. It looks like you're watching a DVD trailer on your like on um you know, off of a DVD, like it's just that amazing looking. Uh, but it is gonna make a huge file. Um, it'll take you years to friggin' upload on YouTube. Um, so, just do 14 or 20 million uh, bit rate. It's up to you. Uh, do constant though. Um, so go ahead and check out the settings here. Get them all in your head. Pause the video, whatnot. Same thing again, video running quality best, stereoscope 3D mode, use project settings. And there you go, that's everything. I'm going to end the video now because I don't want to be rendering this all day and and taking all day to upload it because I'm going to render this in 1920, so just, you know, to be nice so you guys can really make out the words and, um, <laughs> you know, it's so hard to have any time to game when i got to be taking hours to render videos and then also to upload videos you know and then of course some time in there to actually you know 
edit them and whatnot too. So like I said, um, for the most part, you guys are going to want to use Sony AVC MP4. And all you do is go to template down here, click on custom. You can type in whatever you want for your template, click on the save thing, then you always have that setting. Alright? And this is what, this is like your, this is your best setup, your base setup. 1280 by 720, because 1920, like I said, and 1280, man, they look pretty much the same. Main, cow, VC, none. Alright, I'm not going to explain what every setting means, I don't have time, just trust me on this. And, uh, yeah, that, that's everything you need to know to, I mean, you have to know how to, if you want to make montages, this or that, and blah, 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 you have to know how to make your own video. This is so you know how to put the best quality video out for YouTube. And I think that's uh, all I got for you. Also, the effect sharpen. Leave that is reset to none. Preset. Zero, 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 zero. It's gonna, it's still putting it in there. Just enough so that it sharpens things like menu, like menu text, text period, this and that, but it doesn't affect the video quality. Sharpen's just for text, really, and menu things, titles, this and that, fonts, whatever. But if you actually set this up, it will completely, like, construe and mess up the actual, like, video. So leave it preset to none. Alright, and we're good to go. So, I'll catch you guys later. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. It really helps me a lot. It, I mean, I spend 10 hours a day keeping my YouTube up and active, answering 100 messages a day, uh, making tutorials, doing videos keeping up with the company I'm partnered with and just uh, it's so much work and you know I, I try to do I try to do my best um, so I mean I <laughs> it's it's like one of them things you do so much work you know for something and it's not like a normal job where you actually you know get a fat like a nice paycheck and stuff you know as a it's like a hobby that you know you bust your ass for so like all we want in return is when we see them likes and comments and stuff stuff and feedback whether you know it just it could it just be whatever feedback like thanks for the video or constructive feedback or whatever that, that's that's really what like you know us youtubers are looking for especially us you know bigger channels you know that really have a that really have a lot of work to do and whatnot because you know, we just we got so much stuff going on and everything so hope you enjoyed the video tutorial please comment like and subscribe catch you guys later peace